ways to work quickly in BricsCAD is to make use of context menus, which are also known as shortcut menus or right-click menus. You can use them to toggle things like entity snaps to access editing commands specific to entities and so on. These context menus are defined by the customized dialog box, which you can find by right-clicking any user face element and then from the shortcut menu choosing customize. So you want to be in the menus tab and I would click this minus sign next to main menus to see where the context menus are. Here we have a few general context menus and if you want to see what's inside of them, you click the plus sign and you can see these operations. They look familiar because we saw them earlier in the shortcut menu. Now in BricsCAD, what you see in the context menu depends on which entity you select. So I'm going to select this circle, hold down the right mouse button, and you can see these are the menu items that we've seen before. Switch to a polyline, and we see one specific command for polyline, and that's to edit it. And then finally, with this dimension, I'm going to right click, and you have a whole bunch of commands, even a, a submenu for dimensions. Let's go back to the Customize dialog box in the Context menu sections and take a look at where these things come from. Here's a dimension object, and you can see the commands we saw on the context menu, and here's that submenu that was there. You might recall with the polyline command, there was a single command, and we go there, and there's the edit polyline command. Here's how to add a context menu for a specific entity. In this case, we'll do the circle entity because it does not yet have a context menu attached to it. So we go to context menu, right click, choose append context menu. Now comes this dialog box and the second option, which I will select, is a context menu for a specific entity. Now we jump down here and click on the add entity types button. And here's all the entities that are supported by BricsCAD. So let's scroll through it and there's the circle. Choose it, click OK and now want to attach an action to it. Click OK. We need to give it the name, so we'll call it circle. Press enter, and there we have it. It has no commands built into it. Well, we can find them under the modify section in this panel. We need to choose a command that applies to circle, so an easy one would be the copy command. Drag that over onto copy, and now we've created the shortcut menu. Click OK to close the dialog box. Select the circle, right click, and there's that copy command. Mm -hmm.